Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man giving you the truth, and I'm talking about marriage. And I want to talk to all you guys. I know some of y'all ain't going to listen anyway. Y'all going to listen to the people around y'all that is not going to tell you the truth about what's really going on. You, If you're looking at people on Facebook, they're not going to tell you the truth about marriage. You got to come to the truth, man. Truth man to tell you the truth about marriage. And the truth is that marriage is always going to be a good thing as long as it's done the right way. What's the right way? The man is the head. The woman is the help. She assists the man, right? That's the right way. Not mouth, 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 running her mouth, trying to run stuff, not respecting her husband, but yet because they are married, because they have kids sometimes, he's supposed to just take it. No, that's not how it goes. He's supposed to divorce you. He didn't get married to fight. Like, nobody gets married to fight. That's not, you don't get married to fight. You get married when you don't know no better for love. And when you do know better, it's a business move. Like with Patrick Mahomes, everybody's saying how he shouldn't have married that girl because she's kind of like, like off the wall per se. But he did it anyway, and it's probably for business purposes and loyalty purposes. He's known her since he was a kid. He's looking at it like she's been there every step of the way. That don't mean they won't turn on you. That don't mean they... And here's the thing with women. A lot of the times when they don't... When they turn against you, they'll, in their mind... See, the devil knows that it's easier to deceive women than men. So in their mind, they'll be thinking the whole time that it's you. When a lot of times they be bitter over something. They be clinging to the past like the guy they really wanted didn't want them or he wasn't like marriage material at the time they want. These women like Pookie and Ray Ray's, y'all. I mean, you don't believe me? I guarantee you. If your wife was to divulge the first and last name of at least two or three of her boyfriends that she had feelings for you'll find out that they was jailbirds. You're going to find out they was jailbirds. And usually I would say that a lot of times the guy that these women love the most is a jailbird. He's a loser. But they'll, when you have failures in life, they'll be trying to talk about you, but they loved a loser more than you. So this is some of the reason why marriage just in 2022 is just not like the best move for guys. Another reason, because a lot of times, a lot of women put on their interview face, what I like to call it. Like they'll, people will be whatever it takes to get the job. Like if, let's say a woman just wants to get married. Let's say she tired of been on the, uh, what they call a carousel. And now the guy mentions marriage and she clings to him. She might not even always like him. She might even reject him when they first meet, but she'll cling to the guy that presents marriage. And usually you got to be careful with that guys because down the line, that fighting is going to brew. It's going to increase. It's going to creep women to have kids with you and everything. And the whole time that you wasn't even their first, second, or third choice. They just, they look back like, I rejected him. I just really shouldn't have got with him. Or they have secret love for a jailbird, a loser. Somebody been to jail five or six times. So, it's not the best look, man. You got to find out who she loved. You got to know how to vet them. You ever been in love before? Just be honest. I ain't going to get mad. Just be honest. 
Yeah. With who? Jacoco. Jacoco? What's his last name? I think I know him. Jacoco Stevenson. You look up Jacoco Stevenson in public record, he been in jail 10 times. That's how it be, man. That's how it be. You guys, you you not, the Bible didn't even tell you to guard your heart. Proverbs, I think, 4 and 23. You're supposed to guard your heart. Now, and that includes other people in every way. You're supposed to guard your heart. Y'all guys be trying to fall for these girls sometimes because how they look. Sometimes you done got to that butt. It's soft. You like it. You sprung. Y'all be getting sprung on these women. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. And never, if you do get married, never go the marriage license route. Because guess what? When, when y'all fall out, you going to have to pay for somebody that you not even dealing with no more. Years down the line, you gonna have to pay. That's what y'all don't understand. You always think that you gonna, everything gonna always be good. With people, how could you say so? And now you got kids, you gonna be on the hook for child support for 18 years. You gonna be on the hook for alimony in some states for a lifetime. That's why you gotta watch where you move. Like you gotta know the laws of these states. Cause you have been a she she'll been a stop having sex with you years before the divorce. And you paying for the dumb decision that you made, because it's a dumb decision. Anytime you marry a woman that does that, it's a dumb decision. Years down the line, you'll be paying for that decision for years. Is that what y'all guys want to do? You listen to old grandmama. Grandmama was cheating herself. Mama was cheating herself. They marriage just wasn't perfect. They trying to tell you to get married. That's like trying to tell somebody to, to join. Well, I ain't going to even say. Join stuff that they could possibly get their legs messed up. We'll just say. Or something. Get physically harmed. Don't do it. So, people say, oh, you, you, something, something, you, 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 you know, they get mad at you when you tell the truth. Okay, what I'm supposed to do? Lie? Oh, you throwing this person under the bus. No, no, I'm just presenting what I know. Not throwing nobody under the bus. I'm just presenting what I know based on many, many, many examples. Now, if you're not a sexual guy, it might work for you. When she start holding back and dangling, it, it ain't going to bother you because you're not a sexual guy. But let's say you were the player type, a playboy. And she starts playing these games. You stuck with her. Because if you if you go out there and try to mess with somebody else, you're going to pay her. If you, I mean, it's just a lose-lose situation. Marriage, in most cases, is a lose-lose situation. Y'all listening to one or two people who their wives might not be like that. But it ain't that many. And y'all letting them make you believe that every woman out here is going to be like their wives. A lot of them, it's a reason why they single. I mean, these just facts. And, oh, and, and all this, oh, he left his family. You know, listen, man, if you know how these women be acting, like if you really done seen it in your family, at work, so on and so forth, these guy, all these guys are not leaving their kids. They not abandoning their kids. They just don't want nothing to do with some of them. Now, some of these guys are just losers, and they are abandoning their kids.
But from what I know, it's not all of them, man. These guys sometimes be having to choose. Am I going to keep fighting with this chick who don't respect me, don't want me around, just want me to compensate financially? Or am I going to move around? A lot of guys be faced with that decision. They be faced with that decision, man. I mean, it's, that's just what it is, man. And these guys be trying to go online and troll guys just trying to tell them the truth. Shame on you, man. Yo mama lying to you. Yo mama ain't perfect herself. And she got you wanting to troll guys online for telling people the truth. You should be super chatting them. Because they, if you listen to them, you'll save yourself a lot of money. Now, I know some of y'all, you don't really care about money. It shows. But some people have had hardships and failed, but they've always cared about money. They just made bad decisions. Marriage is a bad financial decision. If you're not with the right person. And nine times out of ten, you're going to be not with the right person. That's just the way it is. Like, I'm not finna advocate for it, man. I got too many examples that prove otherwise. Again, disclaimer. If she's going to remain submissive, keep her role, which is to assist you. However, y'all agree that she's going to assist you. Um, she watches her mouth and in her heart and mind is cleansed towards you. It's clean. She has a clean heart towards you. Because if her heart ain't clean, remember, out of the abundance of the mouth, heart, the mouth speaks. If you always arguing with somebody, it's because they don't like you. Out of the abundance of a person's heart, the mouth speaks. Y'all think because you got kids with these, she arguing with you all the time because she don't like you. She don't respect you. She probably want to suck on something. She probably wants some new meat. Yeah, oh, she got a low body count. She ain't like, they like that too. You you think, come on, man. And a matter of fact, sometimes when they ain't really did it, they really be wanting it. They want to run it up. Y'all yeah, think, oh, she ain't really getting what I had. Listen, that's dangerous too. You think you safe? You think you really safe because she ain't really got out there like that. All women eventually will get out there. Well, you can never say all. Uh, I would say most. They go, if they haven't been out there already, they're going to get out there. So, yeah, when they got a high body count, like they be even worse as far as like trying to deal with them on a regular, marry them. But low body count don't guarantee nothing. It just depends on their personality. You you think that because they got a low body count, you say, you think you're going to sock it to her. Well, she possibly in some cases, she done build up a resiliency to her sex. She uses it to her advantage because she doesn't, she's built up self-control. I mean, there's so many factors and aspects to this. The guys be thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to find somebody with a low body count. Oh, I'm just going to find somebody overseas. They all the same, man. There's a few unicorns in the world. And all the rest have very glaring similarities. They got glaring similarities, man. You making women an idol. And remember, the Bible says you shall not have any graven images. That's a commandment. It also says that idolaters shall have their part in the lake of fire. Y'all want women more than God. Some of y'all dudes ain't spiritual at all. You spend, you devote your time towards chasing these women, and that's a sin. You ain't even all the way there with God. Some of y'all ain't there at all with God. 
That's and that's part of why this stuff happens. Think back. Yeah, I'm a believer now, but like there's been times in 20 my 20 early 20s, 21 where that's all I did. Chase Chase. He said it's not good that man should be alone. I was saying it helped me. Suitable to him. Either she's going to help you or she's going to hurt you, but she's not going to do both. The, all these women want to get married, but they can't help. They're going to make matter. The majority of them going to make matters worse. Cause they talk too doggone much. They they think they got all these foolish things built up in their mind. They think they could slap a guy, and he just supposed to. Oh, why'd you do that? Beating on some of these women to beat on a dude, and he'll have that thing in his mind. I don't fight women, and he'll be with one that's trying to beat on him. Never take that off. That's a never. Never let them cheat on you. And they cheat on you, you break up with them. If they hit you, you break up with them. Why would you be with somebody that don't have no self-control? Y'all dudes, y'all just don't get it, man. Y'all putting, like they say, bros before 304s. Y'all putting 304s in front of God. And y'all, some of y'all dudes, you ain't, when the last time you was around your friends, you know them dudes you grew up with. And then you wonder when y'all, y'all not cool no more. Maybe you should have kept hanging around them. Because sometimes guys will hold that against you. Like if you stop dealing with them for a female, they ain't going to want to deal with you no more. Who cares, but that's just a fact. You severed friendships for women. She didn't like your friends, so you stopped dealing with them. Now you ain't even with her no more. And you think you you trying to say stuff to him on Facebook. He don't want to deal with you no more. The dude that had your back. The dude that picked you up every time you was down. That dude who you went to his house to eat. When y'all didn't have no food, you left him alone for a woman. The dude that, like, like, and I could think of a couple things. Guys, I'm friend you on Facebook. You literally was protecting them out here. I had a college buddy that unfriended me on Facebook. And even if, even, okay, even if your wife, let's say your wife did it. You'd be like, what you doing? Put him right back on there. These guys be going with it. And then two years later, they're not even with her no more. You let her cause you to unfriend a guy that's always been your friend. There's something about him. I don't like him. She don't even know him. And some of them are really the whole time and be jocking your friends. I don't like him. But they really do. It's all kind of stuff going on. Don't, man, don't be giving up your friends for these women. You don't know how that's going to turn out. How many women you done broke up with already? Guys be giving up their friends for women, giving up their family for women. You always around her family, you never around yours. Now y'all not even together no more. You don't even have a relationship with your family. That's the... I can close. Stop focusing on marriage and relationships. Especially if you're not rich. Focus your time on the most high and getting money.
Focus your time on the most high and getting money. And I hope y'all can't hear my car. My car's starting to get loud. I think I need a muffler or something. If you got kids, go all out for your kids. But don't, listen, you don't get along with her, man. Don't be working all hard, giving it all to her to give to some other dude. I'm going to tell you about these women, man. I'm going to tell you about they'll They'll be fighting against you, and then they'll be quiet with the next dude, trying to impress them. That's why I don't believe in that just forking over all your money to these wayward women who broke the relationship up theyself. And people be, man, I'm finna get my back. And they all going to her. And she taking it and putting it up. And she gonna try to build a life with the next man with money from you. better figure it out because if you don't listen to me this could be you I'm talking about these women will literally fight against the provider protector dude and accept the little slow mentally dude that just always bringing roses and stuff they'll love him and they'll take your money and give it to him. You got to protect yourself. Don't, don't, marriage license, never. Never. You think God is, is forcing you into a bat battlefield? You think he's forcing you into a battlefield? He's not. He's not. These them fight and fight. Some of them swear they different from the other ones. They swear they different from the other ones. But then when it's all said and done, they do the same thing that those girls that they spent their whole life talking down on do. They break their houses up. But they was talking about them, how they did it. Your schools, churches, none of that means nothing. If you don't know how to assist and submit to a man, you should be by yourself. These women be, these guys, got everybody be caping for them. They sometimes be breaking up their homes, man. With their unsubmissive, immature, childish, selfish attitudes, and people don't want to say nothing. They want to always blame the guy. Oh, he cheated. Okay, he cheated. What did you do? Were you holding sex back from him? Were you giving lackluster performances because you holding a grudge against him? Were you giving lackluster performances because you're not really attracted to him? Ladies, you got problems with your guy. This is what you do. This is the righteous thing to do. Leave and don't demand anything. Go out there and work and do whatever you got to do. Find you a simp that's going to pay you. But don't don't be flexing these guys. That stuff come back on you. That stuff come back on you. You trying to be with somebody you don't even want to be with, you won't leave because you want to be provided for. You don't even want to be with them. You just want to be provided for. And, and truth be told, that's why they start drilling you over finances sometimes. Because that's they just want to be provided for. They want the kids to be provided for. They'll, I'm telling you, they'll, they'll literally drill you over money. Not because they love you. Not because they're sexually attracted to you. Not because they want to be with you. But because they want to be provided for. That's evil. That's evil. That's evil. Are you a church owner? Are you a Bible? You not. You need to put it to practice if you are. If this is you and you telling people you saved, you giving people the impression you saved, you reading the Bible, you praying, but yet you're with somebody you don't want to be with, you're just there for provision, that's evil. 
You ain't going to be close to God. Stop fooling yourself. You got to come clean and be genuine. Then God will accept you. This, this, I mean, these, this is why the church, you go into a lot of these churches, man, you don't feel God at all. These people got all type of stuff going on. It's like they, they, it's almost like because God doesn't always talk and because we can't visibly see him, people start making their own. I can tell you 110% God is not accepting that kind of behavior. He's not accepting a woman who's with a guy that she does not want to be with. She wants other guys. A woman that would that, that, uh, be a 304, but yet she's keeping it real. I believe she'll get further than a woman that's trying to fake spiritual. With God, literally. Okay, watch this. You don't believe it, watch this. Look at the two women that got the closest to the Messiah. Was it the ones, was it the wives of the Pharisees? No, it wasn't them. It was Mary Magdalene and the woman at the well. The woman at the well had a body count of five. Mary Magdalene, they, she was doing all kinds of stuff. They was like, why are you letting this kind of woman touch? They got the closest to the Messiah. That's what people don't realize. You be faking. You if, Go do what you want to do. Provide for yourself. You marry you with somebody you don't like. You don't respect them. You don't love them. You never really, you just uh, uh, settle for them. Leave. Don't demand no child support, no alimony. Just leave and go work. Work, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you keep it real like that, you still, who knows how far you're going to get with the most high, but you'll have on more than if you live in a lie. You'll have on more than if you live in a lie. All right, because all you're going to do is fight, especially if he's alpha, y'all going to fight. Argue, 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 argue. And don't let him have no intuition. He going to know. Why is, I mean, she she already, she don't even want to be with me. She just basically waiting for me to do something so she can play the victim and go around the other guys and her family won't look down on her. Everybody got has desire. When they start withholding, that means that they're saving up theirs. And somebody's going to get that desire. That's why the system is unfair. The system is unfair. Why do guys have to pay for these type of women? That's not fair. That's how you know judgment is coming. That's how you know Isaiah 4 and 1, like I got the series, it's coming to pass. After a while, guys going to be like, you know what? Forget it. And when they get fully like that, these women going to be practically desperate. But right now, you still got a lot of thirst buckets. You got a lot of simps out there. All it's going to take, eventually, they're going to get broke down. They're going to get hurt. They're going to get mistreated. They're going to get their money took. And then Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to come to pass. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. We tell the truth about marriage over here. That is only worth it as long as the woman is obedient towards God. She knows what she's supposed to be in the relationship. And she does that her whole entire life. And then you re react to that. By being who you're supposed to do, be. It's on her first, because she's there to help. It's on her first. 
But thanks for watching. Watch the whole entire video if you have to break it up. If your attention span is short, when you watch my videos, you probably need to watch a little bit and then come back. But how can you learn if you're never watching anybody's full video? You're not going to learn nothing. But I'm going to close. Um, this is probably my last video for today. But thanks for watching. and Keep tuning in to the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.